first things first, how's Craig Goodwin? We know he had a big array last week. Is he trained this week and is he right to go? Yeah, Craig um, did full training this week. So as I said, it was just a, one of those nasty kicks on the top of your foot that swelled up um, straight away. So we took him off, but um, no, he's all good, um, ready to go um, tomorrow night. What are you expecting from Wellington? Last time you played them, you won 4-0, but since then they've gone on and won every game. Yeah, look, they're back to where they were last year. You know, Uffie has them well organised and well structured and they're on a good run. I think they've won their last three games, so um, it's going to be a, a tough game for us. Um, but, you know, we, we have belief in ourselves and the way we're playing. I think we've been playing some good stuff as well. So um, I'm looking forward to, the, to a good quality game. And where's that at? His fitness levels, his jet lag, is he going to play a part? Yeah, he'll travel with the team. Um, you know, he's settled in quite well. We've given him a little bit of time. Um, but he's, he's looked at the quality at training. He's makes some really good positive forward runs and has um, some really good uh, touches around the box. Are you enjoying having Steph kind of on this game by game basis where you might lose him at any moment, but I suppose as much value as you can get, you just, uh, just take it where you can? Yeah, look, it's, it's um, I suppose, a little bit unsettling for Steph. But the professional player that he is, he, he keeps turning up and, and doing the job for us. So, um, you know, as far as I know, we've got him to the Melbourne City game on Tuesday night. Um, and then we, you know, go from there. Um, the longer it takes, I suppose, the we you know, make the most of it. Has the captaincy been something you put any thought to? Or is it something you don't really need to worry about when the time comes and he, he does depart? Um, look, um, we've got a lot of um, leaders in the, in the team, um, you know, we've got a couple of ex-captains still playing in the team. So we have enough players there that can step up and, you know, I, I hold no secrets. Um, when Steph moves on, we will appoint another South Australian as the captain. Um, and I know who that will be. It's just a matter of, um, you know, waiting for Steph to, to move on and then we'll, we'll um, announce a new captain. Is it going to be Craig <laughs> <laughs> We have, a few, we have a few South Australian boys. So Ryan Kiddo has um, stepped up in the game that Steph missed. So, um, look, it's, as I said, we've got a lot of good leaders there at the club. Um, you know, we have a great... Um, the playing group are very close to each other and support each other. And, you know, they all want what's best for the club. Nathan Constantinopoulos has been cleared to play. Is he ready to play? Can he come straight in? Is he match fit? No, look, he's, he needs to... Um, one final box for me to tick off, and that's to play 90 minutes. Um, and he'll do that tomorrow at the training ground with, with the youth team. They'll play an internal trial tomorrow, and he play 90 minutes, and then after that, he's ready to go. Is um, Zach seen as a natural replacement for Stephen at number 10, um, or is he more of a striking option? Or? Zach, yeah, Zach is, a, is a number 10, so he's a more of a replace, straight replacement for Steph. Um, you know, we've got um, George Blackwood that can play that position as well, so we have a few options. Uh, up our sleeves because that can also play wide. Um, he's just another, I suppose, an attacking option that we need because um, we need to score more goals. Um, you know, we're creating opportunities, but we need to, I suppose, just to have a little bit um, better quality in that in and around the box. And I'm sure Zach will um, provide that for us. What did you think of the uh, offside of the women's game last time? Yeah, <laughs> they seem to be getting the same um, run of luck that we, we, we seem to be getting as well. Um, I don't know what it is. It's um, yeah, we've both had a, a fair share of decisions that we, you know, scratch our head. We've. That'll even out. Do you think that'll even out? Do you think? Uh, you, you know, it normally does. Um, you know, we seem to be on the wrong side at the moment, but um, hopefully that, as you say, evens itself out over the course of the season. And um, is Lockie Bar a good chance to continue and start the centre back again? Yeah, look, lucky. You know, for his first game last week, um, he did quite well. You know, he needs a few areas in his game that he needs to improve, and you know, we'll give him that opportunity to to get that consistency of of playing games. It's, as I always say, this even with young players, um, experienced players, um, they need opportunities, and there's no point just putting them in once and then taking them out. You need to give them a, a run of games to see if they're actually at that level that you can rely on them. Will you be missing any players because of COVID or tomorrow? Any players because of COVID? Um, no, we've, we've got a full squad there um, at the moment. So, you know, we're very fortunate the way, you know, our club has dealt with, with that situation at the moment. And, you know, if we can get over these three away games, 
this next week, um, then it make it a little bit easier for us um, going for the rest of the season because it's going to be difficult, you know, end of the season with a lot of games in, in short turnarounds. Um, it will be difficult, so we have to keep make sure we keep on top of our COVID protocols and make sure we don't lose any players to that.